Hey everybody, welcome back to the Leeds United career mode. We're now in season three. We just finished up our first uh, season in the Premier League. We finished fifth for a club making its debut in the Premier League for more than a decade. I'd say that's a pretty successful, pretty successful campaign. So how we're going to do better than that, we'll see. How, how we top that, we will see. Um, uh, with uh, getting into player movement here, we made a couple additions, big ones, we'll get to them. A couple players leaving were part-time players, little bit players here and there. Fernando Gago left on a free, and so did Elliot Bennett. So we lost those two, and we replaced them with these two big signings. First got James Tarkowski, who's an 82 overall, big central defender. He fits the, the mold of our defensive system that we have going on. So that was a really big pickup. And Pierre-Emil Hoiberg, also another huge pickup. Uh, he was uh, playing for Southampton, obviously, and they got relegated. So that was an easy decision. Go down and grab him. He is definitely not a championship player. Definitely Premier League quality player. So this is how our team is going to look to start Season 3. We got Vidant at striker. There's Vardy starting on the left wing. We got Madison in the center and Roberts on the right. They've actually switched because... Roberts got really, really quick. Mojica on the left. Murillo now playing on the right. And Tarkovsky, Bartley together. You had Gabriel and uh, Hoiberg in the middle. And Ashby having the goal. Here we take a quick look. This is our uh, our pick for the Europa League. Our Europe debut. It's going to be exciting. Can't wait for it. Let's get right into the action. So our first game of the season would be against Nottingham Forest at home. And it would be a pretty dominant affair, but we'd only get one real chance, and it would be this crossing from Harrison that gets headed home by the big man. Vidan getting off the mark in his first game. Big win, one nothing to start the season, and Vidan starts basically where he left off last season. Next would be Everton away, and Gabriel with the chance there would be fouled. Great advantage play by the ref, and even better finish by Madison, making it 1-0 to the second half. It's going to be played into Harrison, who's going to get his second assist of the season, to Vidant again, who is going to make it two in two for both him, goal record-wise, and for Leeds United. Good start to the season. And then off to Europe. Our first game in the Europa League would be against Norkopin. Hopefully I said that right. It would be a pretty dominant affair as well, except there would be a lot of this in this game. Good chance for Leeds, big save by the keeper. And then here's another good chance to be Madison's gonna push him, push his way in. But again, it would be the keeper coming up big to keep his side level and keeping it nil-nil. Next game would be against Fenenbake. This would be Ito dragging it across, and then a nice finish into the top top corner, making it one-nil Leeds. But there would be an answer. From Fenerbahce, it's actually going to be Melvin Erdink who's going to get one there. And then it would go from bad to worse for Leeds, as there's a, a late chance in. It's going to be sent in, and that's you know it's going to be put away. That's Pochek with the goal, and it's going to be a 2-1 loss for Leeds. Not the way you want to start. Next game would actually be against Stad Bucharest. We draw that one 1-1, and then the reverse fixture would be our home home fixture of it, and it's going to be Jamie Vardy who's going to get the big goal for us to put us back in contention for at least that second place. And then Madison here, what a strike. It's going to be 1-0 also against Norkoping, and then that would give us second place guaranteed. Fenenbacher would win the group. Right before the midway point of the season, our game against Liverpool, classic build-up by Liverpool. It's 1-0 there, and that's where we'd stand. At the midway point, we're probably right where we want to be in that sixth spot, Sniffing around for the Europa League spot and maybe even Champions League spot. We'll check. There's Liverpool in eighth. Even lower Manchester City. Great. Um, here are the league leaders. We're going to switch from normal. We're going to go a couple injury notes. Been pretty lucky for the first two seasons. But Vidant was out for two months after the first three games of the season. And right after that Liverpool game, Kyle Bartley, our captain, is actually out for the season. So pretty big injury losses to deal with after basically having not to deal with any. And even worse, Asprey Hammond is requesting to leave. Him and Casilla are not happy splitting. They played half the season, basically. So uh, Ashby Hammond was sold. Casilla kept not agreeing to terms, but whatever. So Ashby Hammond was sold. We have to get David Button in. He's going to be backing up 
our I, what I think is going to hopefully going to be our diamond in the rough here, Yannick Ludwig. He's a highly high potential goalie. We're going to leave with him all the way into the second part of the season. Let's see how he does. It couldn't have started worse for the young keeper, as here uh, away at Manchester United, it'd be three nil. That was four two with a goal and Vajalko there. Let's just try to forget about this one. On to our first uh, round of 32 cup tie with Lil. And it'd be defensive the whole way. This game one, best chance goes to Harrison. Nil nil after one. 120th minute in the second leg. Nil nil. Harrison, best chance, still saves. Off the penalties. Where Ludwig makes a huge save of his own, giving Gabriel the chance to, to win it for Leeds and advance. And the Brazilian would step up. And you know he's just going to finish it here. Put it right into the bottom left corner. 3-1 for Leeds. And they're advancing to the round of 16 against Luzerne with a 3-1 win on penalties. After a 1-1 uh, away draw, it would be all Leeds after that. Bamford with a goal to make it 1-0. Harrison would play down the wing. He's going to play it in. Ma uh, Bamford with a nice little back heel to Madison, who makes it 2-0. And then Matt O'Reilly, who's finally starting to get some play time, and maybe he deserves a bit more. How about that for a finish from the 20-year-old? It'd be 4-1 Lee Lenagrid, off to the corner finals. We're off to play against Dynamo Zagreb. The, the, home, the home fixture would be uh, a 1-0 win. It would be Dariqua scoring a classic Dariqua goal. He's leaving on a free, actually. Uh, that sucks. We're getting older. It's time to move on. And Madison would make it 1-0 on the away leg to give Leeds United the 2-0 win on aggregate. To the semifinals, it would be against PSV. And it would be a drubbing by Leeds. This is in, this is in uh, it's at PSV. There's Tyler Roberts with the first goal. Madison would then play in Gabriel, making it 2-0. Hjordberg would get on, on the act. He's going to be set up here with a nice little strike from out. And Jamie Vardy would actually add one late to make it 4-0. The best away performance you can ask for. It was 2-2 back in the, the home leg to, to make it 6-2 in aggregate for Leeds. Back to the Premier League. It was basically stop and start the whole time. Uh, we needed, But we needed a win in the last day of the season. And Tyler Roberts would give it to us with this goal right here against, uh, against Palace. They get 1-0, and with that, we just beat out uh, Bournemouth for fifth spot on the goal differential. But here would be the big one, the Europa League final. It's against Bayern Leverkusen. They have a really sick team at this at this time. They've got, they've got Hivers, it's unreal. And they, they've also acquired uh, Gabriel Jesus. Like, this was a really tough match. Uh, but luckily, it would be Leeds getting first uh, first blood here. As James Madison again for Leeds, he's been the hero. That's young Alfie Edwards, unfortunately, turning it over to Correa, who puts it away to make it 1-1. This game would go to penalties after both teams miss on their first attempt. Uh, Marilla would step up here, making it 1-0. Then it would be Ludwig, who's not going to bite, going to stay down the middle, make a big save, keeping it 1-0. Roberts could give Leeds a strong stranglehold in the match, and he just gets it by Karius there to make it 2-0. Munir will then step up, goes for the cheeky chip, and misses the target. Yikes. And the big story here, Jamie Vardy, he decided he's going to hang up his boots after this match. So how telling, and what, a, what an ending to a career. And he steps up and he wins it. Wins the Europa League for Leeds on his last kick of his career. Storybook ending for Jamie Vardy. And what a what a win. Leeds United, three seasons, three trophies. Started with the championship. Then it was Carabao. And now a little bit bigger of a tournament. And hey, look at that. The trophy is actually in the spot it's supposed to be. Wow. Well done, EA. So it's going to be Madison. Filling in as, uh, as captain for the injured Bartley. He's going to step up, and you know we're going to hoist that trophy. Huge, huge win for Leeds. So we're going to check off and see where we are now at the, uh, at the end of the season and uh, see how we did. So taking a look at the table, like we mentioned before, we finished fifth, but rivals Manchester United finally taking home a Premier League. It feels like it's been forever, but I guess 
Nah, not good for them. Screw them. Uh, it would be uh, uh, Wolves, Huddersfield, and Brighton being relegated this time around. Taking a look at uh, who led the way in goal scoring, Porto takes home golden boot. Madison would be our top goal scorer with 11. Uh, he, he was basically the anchor of the team. He's by far the, the, uh, the MVP of this season. Also there with eight assists for Madison. So great season for him. Our young keeper, Yannick Ludwig, plus, uh, plus 15 in those, in those stats category, getting all the way up to a 76 as just a 17-year-old. So I think we found our, our goalie for the future. And as well, here's Alfie Edwards. I mentioned him. We use a career uh, mode season one fine. He's starting to come into his own as well. He's got very good athletic stats. As well as checking our youth academy here, Joel Morris, great potential. It looks like he might be one for the future as well. We'll keep an eye out for him. So that does it for this uh, this episode. Thanks again, guys, for, for checking it out. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And yeah, look out for Season 4 coming soon.